D-Mills in the building, back on my channel, Raquel TV, and I'm here with... Two Man. Two Man. You, you say you from Austin, right? Yeah, I'm from Austin, Texas. I want to I wanna get a compare and contrast from Houston and Austin real quick. Man, yeah, Houston is so much faster than my city, man. Y'all got better food, too, man. Y'all got... Man, I love that shit, man. I love... It. Favorite restaurant? Uh... You been around Houston? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's that, that one uh, Crab Shack. I forgot what it's called. Crab Shack? Nah, it's big though. If, if it's not crash check, I'm probably you probably thinking of uh, it's not it's not uh, not not red lobster, right? Nah, not red lobster. It's probably crash check. That is new out here. That is new. I was gonna say because you from Austin, we got like I got like a lot of Austin questions real quick. So from Austin, bro, I went out there one time and I feel like the air is more clear. Like everything is like you can breathe out there. And I want to say, how do you feel about that? Like how, how you feel about that? I mean, I, I've been all my life, though, so it's, it's regular to me. But I, I, I like coming down here, though, man. There's just so much more to do down here. So you love Houston? I love Houston, man. I love it. What's your favorite thing about Houston? Uh, man, y'all girls. <laughs> <laughs> they thick. Hey, man, they, they thick. They just, they like baby Atlanta in this motherfucker. Tell me about yourself, though. Tell me where you come from and tell me how you get here. Man, I came from Austin, Texas, man. And basically, man, I had to, I had to come meet people like you. And I had to, I had to get my music out there, though, because... Like everybody say, that music good, but I know my music good though. All you gotta do is hear it. Like, How long you been in the game? Uh, I would say taking it real serious, two years now. Yes. I've been doing it like since I was 13 though, but my little brother got murdered and I just left it alone, man. I my man. Yeah, straight up, straight up. You see it. Uh, what we got going on today is we got this talk your shit segment because we doing like personal interviews. And we want the person to tell themselves about the. You know what I'm if nobody knew you, tell yourself to the world. Talk your shit though. Tell them who you is. Man, I'm too, man. Like I said, man, I know for a fact, though, ain't nobody really touching me, man. Like, really, ain't nobody touching me, man. Uh, shit, growing up, had mom and daddy and all that shit, but the streets raised me, though, like a motherfucker. Been to prison twice, man, and this is better. Rapping is better for me, man, because I don't like motherfuckers telling me what to do, man, and, and that's, that's what it is in prison, man. Man, I'm saying, man, the niggas crying over the TV and the story. Niggas watch stories in jail, man. Nigga weird, man. I see you, you know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Uh, shit, I'm just, I'm just an artist, man, trying to get my shot, but I'm gonna get it though. I wanna say to you, bro. Congratulate you, just you know what I'm saying. Just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Congratulations for even doing what you're doing to start this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Before you get up out of here, though, I want you to try all your socials and everything you got coming out so they can follow you. Instagram two man underscore four four. Mr. Amazon Prime, you type that in and come up. And I'll, I'll streaming platforms right now, man. You can get me anywhere, everywhere. You see you at Cool Man 2, man. It's D-Mills in the building. We take Markel TV, and we out.